Hey guys, so I have to go through this kind of quickly, but it's going to be my top 10 favorite high-end products and my top 10 favorite drugstore products. So I'm just going to get straight into it. Start. I'm going to start out with um, high-end products, and yes, I haven't been able to figure out how to upload on iMovie, which is being so stupid. So I have to just upload from this and not edit, so if you hear my dog barking in the background or people talking, or you've already seen me in the shirt, that is why, because I've been uploading a few videos today. So, the first product is kind of face. It's by Clinique, which I um, would assume would be high-end, and it's the Repair Wear Eye Cream. I absolutely love this. It lasts so long. Um, I don't know if you can see my makeup collection back there, but right there next to my EOS's, um, is another one, and I have just used the cap out of this. I haven't even gone into the middle, which it looks like it, I did, but they filled it up kind of weird, or it was like laying on its side. Um, so I haven't even gone into the main product yet, and I still have a ton left. So I love this product. It helps without um, making your um, concealer or anything look cakey or kind of like um, splotchy. So I absolutely love this. Then I have... A sample size of the NARS um, Orgasm Illuminator, which I'm definitely getting the full size of. I use this every day for highlighting, and it's just such a pretty kind of rose goldy color. And I love this for um, fall especially because it's such a pretty like fall color. And I love this for, for putting on like the top of my cheekbones for a highlight for the day. Then I have like everything like balanced on something right now, so. It's kind of wobbly. What was I going to say? Oh, right. Okay. Next is the Too Faced Lash Gasm Mascara. And there's no color. Um, but it's just... It looks like this. By Too Faced. And this is absolutely amazing for bottom lashes. I don't use this for top lashes because I don't need length. But for my bottom lashes, I'm actually wearing this today. It makes them look so lengthening. And you can see right there what the brush looks like. And um, I love, love, love the consistency of this. And if this came with a lengthening and a volumizing brush, I would completely fall head over heels. No, I'm just kidding. I would love this product. And I would buy both kinds, and it's so amazing, and I love, love, love how black this is, because it's so black and so dramatic, and I love it. Um, the next product is a MAC pu pu Plush Glass in the color Fulfilled, which is kind of like a sheer color, but um, if you're not wearing any lipstick or lip liner underneath it, um, if you're just wearing this one day, it does kind of have an orangey tint to it, and I love the feeling of these. And I love how pretty it is, and I absolutely love this color for summer. Next is an eyeshadow from Stila, and it's no surprise because it's in Kitten. And this is one of my all-time favorite eyeshadows. Um, it's just like a shimmery um, champagne color, and yes, I dropped it and cracked it. But it's so pigmented that you just need a little. Um, so that I can tell this is going to last me for a very long time, and I love it. Um, another product is Bare Study Paint Pot from MAC. I've been using this for about a year and a half, and I love it. I've only been into makeup for about, like, two years, and the fact that this has lasted me a year and a half, and it hasn't really dried out yet, is amazing. And you can see the huge dent I put in it. I used to use this every day, but now I kind of use it as kind of like a treat product because I have so many like drugstore primers for my eyes that I don't really have time to like really use this. Plus it's expensive so I don't want to use it up so fast. But it's so pretty it's kind of like a light champagne gold kind of color. Um, the next is a MAC Shadow in Satin Taupe which is another kind of cult favorite and it's a frost. And I love how versatile this color is. It's light enough to be an all over lid color for kind of a smoky eye. It's dark enough to be in the crease or the outer corner. And it's just a really pretty color. I absolutely love that. Next is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and I'm in Medium Plus. This is such a pretty um, powder because it gives you such a nice finish. And yes, I broke this as well. What is with me and breaking powders? But 
it's so gorgeous because it gives you such like a matte and finished look on your face and I'm actually wearing it today but it kind of rubbed off because I had PE today but this is amazing and I would not risk bringing this to school because I think it would get even more cracked but I absolutely love this product and it's kind of pricey it's about $32 um and another th something that um hand that is also a little pricey is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This is my favorite foundation ever. I absolutely love it and I'm in the color Light Deville. Well, not light number four. And this is such, such, such an amazing product. I love it. It's a little pricey as well. It's around the $42 range. So if you aren't willing to spend $42 on a foundation, I would not go for it. But um, for me, it's willing enough it's making me willing enough to spend the money on it because it gives you such a flawless coverage and it kind of gives you that dewy finish but with the MAC powder it gives you kind of like a in between matte and dewy and it's so pretty. The last high end product is number 10 and it's the Naked Palette. This isn't in any particular order on how much I like it, I just kind of grabbed. Um, but this is such an amazing palette especially since fall is coming up because it's practically all neutral so it's really good colors for um, kind of like every day at school or something like that and it has really great fall colors um, in here as well they have some dark and then some neutral and then it has some colors right here there's like pinks and purples and I think it's such a pretty palette and they're so pigmented and I think it's definitely worth the $48 and I love it now to drugstore which I'm already running out of breath the first product um, I guess I'll start with lips the first is a Maybelline High Shine Lipstick. It's from their Color Sensational line. And mine is in the color Coral Luster, which is definitely not a color for now. But it's gorgeous for the summertime. And it's not as glossy as it looks on the commercials, obviously. But it is pretty glossy, and I love this color. Plus, it smells amazing, and it's sheer enough that I've worn this to school. And I have a lot of compliments on it, and I really like it. Then I have... The CoverGirl Nature Luxe um, Gloss Balm in the color Hibiscus, um, which is two fifteen. I just said like Hibiscus, no, Hibiscus. Um, and I actually had Spice on today. They have another color in Spice, but it's in my school bag. But this is Hibiscus. Hibiscus. It's like um, a light kind of fuchsia purpley color. If you guys have ever seen a Hibiscus, this is kind of close to it. Um. It's really pretty, and I think these go for like $8, so they're not that bad, and these are like along with it, like 7 or 8 Then the last lip product from the drugstore is a Revlon lipstick in the color Soft Nude, which is a really, really pretty um, nude color. I have a lot of like white nudes from MAC, um, but this is like a really good everyday nude color. It's so, so, so nude, and I really like lips like that, so... This is another one of my favorite drugstore products. Then I have the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Magic Perfecting Base. And I actually use this today. I absolutely love this. It looks like a creamy kind of mousse consistency. But when you blend it out, it makes your skin feel so smooth. And just blends out in like a really nice consistency. And I really like this. Um, that's along with my favorites. The next is a drugstore foundation. And it's Fit Me Foundation. I'm in 125 Nude Beige. This is such an amazing foundation. I keep saying amazing and such and blah, blah, blah. But um, it is actually a really good foundation. It has kind of like the same um, coverage as the NARS one. But the NARS one kind of has a little bit more. Um, the NARS one has more color payoff. This one's a little bit like less color. Um, but it's really nice. And I love using it with my e.l.f. powder brush because it's kind of like a buffer brush and it just looks really good. Um, then I have two brushes. The first is my favorite, favorite, one of my favorites, um, brush brand and it's Eco Tools. I love their blush, brush, oh my word. It's amazing. I use this for powder every day, which by the way, I'm going to add a little bit more to my face. And, um... It's so soft, and I love the way it puts on products. Their brushes are amazing, and I definitely suggest going to get them, like, super cheap. Along with the Sony Kashuk brushes, is um, the one that I use for my crease every day. It's actually blending, but I use it for my crease. And these brushes are soft as well, and they're only, like, $5.99, and some of them are $3.99. 
So a really good price. This is just the regular line. They have like a dark um, black handle line, but it's a little bit more expensive. Their brushes are like $14, but not compared to MAC, which are like $42, but you get the idea. Um, then the last three products I have from the drugstore that are my all-time favorites is first is the Maybelline One by One Volume Express Mascara. This was one of the first mascaras I've ever bought, and I just really like this. It has a nice kind of, it's not like super dramatic. It doesn't make your lashes spidery like I mentioned in my Fall Loves tag, which was the Falsies. Um, but this is a little bit more natural, and it's a good like everyday to school mascara. It has a plastic wand. Um, but it's so volumizing, and I don't like lengthening mascaras because my lashes are naturally super long, so I want more volume. But if I want kind of a little bit of both, and for them to look spidery, this is another one of my favorites. It's the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Expre Express, I can't speak, um, in a black drama, which I think was like a limited edition shade, which is extra black, and... I will show you. There's like some parts that are like falling apart because it's kind of at its end. But it has kind of like a curved wand and a really dramatic, um, I think these are like brush bristles, but I'm not sure. Um, but that is such an amazing mascara for like kind of the spidery lashes, which I like around like Halloween time because it's like spider or spidery, whatever. Um, but the next one is Maybelline the Colossal. Volume Express, I know these are all Maybelline, but this is actually my favorite out of the three. Um, it gives in the middle of, I guess, dramatic and natural. Um, the thing to me, dramatic, is like your eyelashes are the main focus of kind of your look. They're super dark and volumized and they look absolutely amazing. But natural is just kind of light and everyday. But this is like right in the middle. And it has a huge wand. And mine's in the color Classic Black. Which I think these are they're pretty cheap. Um, But this is what the brush looks like. If you guys can't even see. These are brush bristles, I believe. Yeah. Um, And I really like this. It's Similar to Bad Gal Lash, but not as big as a wand, um, and it's better, actually, which is kind of strange, because you're thinking, oh, well, Bad Gal Lash is high-end. Well, it doesn't mean it's better, so the drugstore is actually better, and I absolutely love this mascara. So, that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave any video requests or comments below or in my inbox, and I will talk to you later. I'll link all the products that I mentioned in this video down in the description box, and yeah, bye guys.